Zora Siegel, the 27th of April 1912 to the 10th of July 2014, was an Indian actress, dancer, and choreographer. Siegel started her career as a dancer in Uday Shankar's troupe, performing in countries such as the United States and Japan. She went on to appear in numerous Bollywood films as a character actress with a career span of over 60 years. The famous films she was part of include Nisha Nagar, Afsar Baji on the Beach The Mystic Masur Bend It Like Beckham Dil Say, Sawariya and Chini Kum and the TV serials The Jewel in the Crown Tandoori Nights and Amma and Family at the age of 90, she played the central character in the 2002 film Kalo Ishq Ladaya. Considered the Dayan of Indian theatre, she acted with the Indian People's Theatre Association and Prithviraj Kapoor's Prithvi Theatre for 14 years. She has also acted in English-language films such as Bend It Like Beckham. She was awarded the Padma Shri in 1998, Kalidas Salmon in 2001, and in 2004, the Sangeet Natak Akademi. India's National Academy for Music, Dance and Drama presented her with its highest award, the Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship for Lifetime Achievement. She received the Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian honour, in 2010. She died in a New Delhi hospital on 10 July 2014 due to cardiac arrest. <laughs> Early life and education She was born as Sahibzadi Zora Begum Mumtaz Ullah Khan on 27 April 1912 into a traditional Muslim family in Rampur, Uttar Pradesh, India, to Mumtazullah Khan and Natikwa Begum, belonging to a Rohila Patan family of Rampur, Uttar Pradesh, India. She was the third of seven children, Zakula, Hara, Ikramala, Uzra, Uzra Butt, Anna and Sabira, and grew up in Chakrata, now in Uttarakhand near Dehradun. She was a tomboy fond of climbing trees and playing games. Zora lost vision in her left eye when she contracted glaucoma at the age of one. She was referred to a hospital in Birmingham where she was treated at a cost of £300. She lost her mother when she was young. In accordance with their mother's wishes, she and her sister were sent to Queen Mary College, Lahore. Strict purdah was observed there and the few males invited to speak did so from behind a screen. As a result of seeing her sister's failed marriage, she decided to pursue a career, rather than get married. Upon graduating, her maternal uncle, Saheb Zada Safar Khan, who was based in Edinburgh, arranged for her to apprentice under a British actor. They started from Lahore by car and, en route, crossed Iran and Palestine, before reaching Damascus, Syria, where she met her cousin. Then they travelled into Egypt and caught a boat to Europe in Alexandria. In Europe, her aunt Dicta took her to try out in Mary Wigman's ballet school in Dresden, Germany. Despite having lived in Perda and never having danced before, she got admission and became the first Indian to study at the institution. She stayed in Dresden for the next three years studying modern dance, while living in the house of Countess Liebenstein. She happened to watch the Shiv Parvati ballet by Uday Shankar who was touring Europe. This was to change her life forever as, impressed by the performance, she went backstage to meet Uday Shankar, who promised her a job on her return to India, at the completion of her course. <laughs> <laughs> Career While still in Europe, she received a telegram from Uday Shankar, "'Leaving for Japan tour. Can you join immediately?' On 8 August 1935, she joined his troupe and danced across Japan, Egypt, Europe and the U.S., as a leading lady, along with French dancer, Simka. When Uday Shankar moved back to India in 1940, she became a teacher at the Uday Shankar India Cultural Center at Almora. It was here that she met her future husband Kameshwar Siegel, a young scientist, painter and dancer from Indore, eight years her junior, belonging to the Radha Swami sect. For a while, the couple worked in Uday's Dance Institute at Almora. Both became accomplished dancers and choreographers. Kameshwar composed a noted ballet for human puppets and choreographed the ballet Lotus Dance. When it shut down later, they migrated to Lahore in the near western India and set up their own Zoresh Dance Institute. The growing communal tension preceding the partition of India made them feel unwelcome. They returned to Bombay, with one-year-old Kiran. 
By now, her sister Uzra Butt was already a leading lady with Prithvi Theatre. Ultimately, she too joined Prithvi Theatre in 1945, as an actress with a monthly salary of 400 rupees, and toured every city across India with the group, for the next 14 years. Also in 1945, soon after her arrival, she joined the leftist theatre group, IPTA, acted in several plays, and made her film debut in IPTA's first film production, directed by Kwaja Ahmad Abbas, Dardi K. Lal in 1946. She followed it up with another IPTA-supported film, Chetan Anand's Nisha Nagar. In the same year, it became the first Indian film to gain critical international recognition and won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival. Her involvement remained mostly with the theatre, though she did do a few films in between. During their stay in Bombay, the couple came to know many celebrities, including Ibrahim Alkazi, in whose play Din K. Andhir, she played Begum Kudsia. K. A. Abbas, in whose plays she acted at the IPTA, Chetan and Uma Anand in whose house the couple stayed when they first moved to Bombay, and his brother, Dev Anand. She did the choreography for several Hindi films, including Guru Dutt's Bazi and the dream sequence song in Raj Kapoor's film Awara. Kameshwar, on the other hand, became an art director in Hindi films and later tried his hand at film direction. Zora Sagal had been acting on the stage in different parts of India and putting up plays for inmates, including at Ferozapur Jail. After staging a play, she stayed on to watch an execution. After her husband's death in 1959, Zora first moved to Delhi and became director of the newly founded Natya Academy. She then moved London on a drama scholarship in 1962. Here she met Ram Gopal, a India-born Bharatnatyam dancer, and starting in 1963, worked as a teacher in the Uday Shankar style of dance at his school in Chelsea, during the short period of its existence. Her first role for British television was in a BBC adaptation of a Kipling story The Rescue of Pluffles, in 1964. She also appeared in four episodes of Doctor Who during 1964-65, all of them, however, are currently lost. She also anchored 26 episodes of BBC TV series, Padozi Neighbours, 1976-77. Her career in the next almost two decades remained sporadic, despite several small appearances in many films. In London, Zora got her first break in films and was signed by Merchant Ivory Productions. She appeared in The Courtesans of Bombay, directed by James Ivory in 1982. This paved the way for an important role as Lady Chatterjee in the television adaptation The Jewel in the Crown ITV, 1984. Thus started the second phase of her career, as she went on to appear in The Raj Quartet, The Jewel in the Crown, Tandoori Nights, My Beautiful Laundrette, etc. <laughs> Return to India She returned to India in the mid-1990s and lived for a few months in Burdwan. At that time she acted in several films, plays and TV series. She first performed poetry at a memorial to Uday Shankar organized by his brother, Ravi Shankar in 1983, and soon took it in big way. She started getting invited to perform poetry at various occasions. She even travelled to Pakistan to recite verses for An Evening with Zora. Her impromptu performances of Punjabi and Urdu became a norm. After stage performances she was often requested by the audience to recite Hafiz Jalandri's famous Nuzma, A B H I to Main Jawan Hoon. In 1993, the critically acclaimed play Ek T Nani was staged in Lahore for the first time, featuring Zora and her sister Uzra but now staying in Pakistan. A performance in its English version A Granny for All Seasons was held at UCLA in 2001. She became very active in Hindi films in grandmotherly roles in from 1996, with frequent appearances in high-budget movies such as Dil Se, Hum Dil De Chuk Sanam, Veer Zara, Sawariya and Chini Kum. She was 90, when she did the film Kalo Ishq Lade in 2002, where she was the main central character of the film and Govinda played her grandson. The film Ishq Lade had her riding a bike and fighting the villains as well. In 2008, at the United Nations Population Fund UNPF Laudley Media Awards in New Delhi, she was named Laudley of the Century and the awards ceremony was presided by the Chief Minister of Delhi, Sheila Dixit. In her career she has acted with heroes across generations, Prithviraj Kapoor, Ashok Kumar, Dev Anand, Govinda, Shahrukh Khan, Salman Khan, Amitabh Bachchan and Ranbir Kapoor. 
In 2012, she became the longest living actor to have appeared on Doctor Who, as well as the first centenarian associated with the show. The second is Olaf Pooley, who celebrated his 100th birthday on 13 March 2014. Personal life She married Kameshwar Sagal, a Hindu. There was initial opposition from her parents, but they eventually gave their approval for the union. They married on 14 August 1942. Jawaharlal Nehru was to attend the wedding reception, but he was arrested a couple of days earlier for supporting Gandhi's Quit India movement. Zora and Kameshwar had two children, Kiran Siegel and Pavan Sagal. Pavan Sagal works for the WHO. Kiran is a highly reputed Odissi dancer. In 2012, Kiran Siegel, her daughter, wrote Zora's biography titled, Zora Segal, Fatty. <laughs> Death On 9 July 2014 she was admitted to the Max Hospital in South Delhi after being diagnosed with pneumonia. She died on 10 July 2014, aged 102, after suffering cardiac arrest and was cremated on of July at Lodi Road Crematorium, Delhi. Filmography Acting Topic Awards nineteen sixty three Sangeet Natak Akademi Award nineteen ninety eight Padma Shri two thousand one Kalidas Salmon two thousand two Padma Bhushan two thousand four Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship twenty ten Padma Vibhushan